Formation resistivity, R sub t, is important because it is inversely related to water saturation. For example, in the uninvaded zone, all other things remaining equal, as the electrical resistivity of the formation decreases, the water saturation increases. Consequently, from changes in resistivity measurements, we can determine changes in water saturation, and therefore changes in hydrocarbon saturation. In electrical logging, several factors control the measured electrical response. They are water saturation, salinity, porosity, and pore interconnections, sometimes referred to as tortuosity. The first two of these factors are fluid dependent, while the third is rock dependent. Before looking at electrical logging techniques, let's examine how these factors influence our measurements. Starting off our simple experiment with a sample of distilled water, we pass a constant electrical current from here to here and measure the voltage difference caused by the current flow between here and here. As the salinity of the sample is changed, you can observe a change in the voltage reading. And as we remove some of the water, that is, change the water saturation of our sample and replace it by another substance, let's say oil, the voltage changes again. Next, if we soak a sponge in our original distilled water sample to simulate a porous formation and again pass an electrical current through the electrodes, we obtain a different voltage reading as compared to the ideal high porosity case. That is, no formation and only fluid. The summation of our results reveals that as salinity increases, current flows between the current electrodes, and there is a potential or voltage drop measured. In logging terms, the conductivity of the sample formation increases, which is the same as a decrease in resistivity. Next, as saturation decreases, the voltage measured increases. And uniquely in resistivity terms now, so does the resistivity. And finally, as porosity decreases, the voltage increases, and so does the resistivity. It is important to remember that resistivity is measured in ohm meters squared per meter, and arises from its definition as the specific resistance through a sample of a certain length and cross-section.